uh, uh, Representative Dixon, you want to chime in? Thank you, uh, Congressman. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the kind of meeting that I've dreamed about for many years. This is an amazing, uh, I look forward when I get home tonight to write about this in my journal for my children. This is an incredible meeting. We're here and we're trying to communicate with each other. You know, a gentleman that's in this room told me a few years ago, he said, Jimmy, communication is the easiest thing in the world to do and the most difficult thing to do right. And I found that to be true. And so as we're here trying to communicate, we're doing a good job with ourselves. You know, we're preaching to the choir. We understand that. The vast majority of the people in North Carolina have no idea about what's going on this, in this meeting. And the attempt to get the word out to them is a great challenge that we have. But I agree with Senator Jackson that, to use a colloquial term, we have been woke up. And our challenge is to stay woke up. My granny told me one time, she said, Jimmy, there's going to come times in life uh, when you're going to have to go beyond explaining things to people so that they'll understand. He said there, she said, there'll be a few times in life when you have to explain it to people so that they won't misunderstand. And there's a vital difference between that. So very briefly, I'm going to go and take you inside what I believe was some of the Genesis acts of where this is at. When we were passing the nuisance bill, uh, House Bill 467 in 2017, Bill Graham from the Graham and Wallace law firm in Salisbury came and we met in David Lewis's office. And Mr. Graham uh, started talking about the deficiencies in livestock agriculture. And he made some very uh, offensive statements to me about my family, about my neighbors, and about our industry. And I sat there very quietly for a period of time. And this is important, ladies and gentlemen. This is important. And I listened for a while. And then when it came my turn to speak, I said, Mr. Graham, you've offended me. You're talking about my family. You're talking about my friends. You're talking about my small farmers. And I said a few other things. Oh, no, no, Representative Dixon. No, you've misunderstood me. This is about the Chinese and they can afford to pay us. Now, I want you to understand the word us. He didn't say a damn thing about the small farmers. He didn't say anything about helping us to improve our circumstances. None of that. It's the Chinese, and they can afford to pay us. This is an egregious grab of money by the Byron and Bud law firm from Dallas, Texas, combined with Bill Graham and Mona Lisa Wallace from Salisbury, North Carolina, to come in and try to convince me that it's about the big wealthy owners of this company. Well, I invite them to come to me. I give them an open invitation to come with me on Joey Carter's farm, a man that has never had one complaint. And I do wish the news media would pick up on something like this. Never had a complaint. Never had a violation. The people who sued him bought the land from his father, <coughs> built their home there, signed a waiver for him to use a spray field, and then turned around and sued him and this biased judge in this federal court did not allow us to be judged by a group of our peers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're a free nation, as others have alluded to. We're a free nation because of a lot of different things. 
But I think if you combine all of them together, they will not equal the fact that we've been able to feed and our clothe ourselves. God be thanked that there are farmers who are willing to put up with the circumstances of production which are not always pleasant so that others can enjoy the benefits of consumption. That's what it's about. Thank you.